Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dana. Thanks again for watching. If you're new here, hi, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. I'm so glad to see you, even though I can't see you, but I'm glad you are here. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Today, it's a good day to review sunscreen. I am reviewing some of the newer La Roche-Posay and Thelios. I think they're both in Thelios. Yes, they are. <laughs> Sunscreens. So this video came about because I purchased this new one. This is the, these names are going to be the death of me. Um, let's see. Anthelios UV Correct Daily Lotion Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 70. So this is like pretty new within the last few months. This one is the Anthelios Light Fluid Sunscreen Ultra Light uh, Broad Spectrum SPF 60. We have two different kinds. This one is not as new, but I wanted to do two high protection sunscreens from um, La Roche-Posay, especially with this new one out. I do have another one. I actually, I mean, I've had many <laughs> La Roche-Posay sunscreens, but I'm gonna leave the, the third one for a different video that I'm doing. And that is the Tinted Mineral Anthelios SPF 50, because this one honestly is more like a skin tint. And I kind of think of it like such. So I'm gonna leave that for a special video I have coming up. If you're wondering what it is, I'm not going to tell you right now because it's going to take a lot of work and I don't want to get your hopes up. But if this is interesting to you, if you like the sounds of it, um, consider subscribing and that way you will know when I post it because it's going to be a really good video. So I just wanted to mention that. And I also wanted to mention just like as a caveat, of course, there are more La Roche-Posay sunscreens. They have like a boatload of them and I've tried quite a few of them. I have my favorites. I especially like the UV Mune and the Shaka ones, which typically I get from Europe, but these are two sunscreens that you can get in the US if you are in the US. So I wanted to kind of focus on these and that high protection kind of rating. So that's what this video is about. If you are excited for it, give it a big like, subscribe, and let's get going. Right, so I'm gonna be applying half and half, one on one side of my face, one on the other. I like to do this because it allows you to compare the sunscreens, gives you a sense of the finish, kind of maybe if one has a cast or not, that kind of thing. So what I'm gonna start with is the Anthelios Light Fluid Sunscreen. I'm gonna to have to condense the names because I say them so much. So we'll call this one the Daily Lotion Sunscreen, and we'll call this one the Light Fluid Sunscreen. Now I just have to remember to say that. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna zoom you in. You always shake this one too, by the way, and then apply it to my face. As always, when I'm testing out a sunscreen, I have my handy dandy little quarter teaspoon. I, when I apply to half my face, I try to fill about half of it. It's not precise, but you get the gist. If you're doing your full face and neck, you should be applying the full quarter of a teaspoon, but you guys know that. <laughs> So this one is SPF 60. It is water resistant for 80 minutes. It retails for about $30.99, so $31. You get 1.7 fluid ounces, which is 50 milliliters. And it kind of has, I would say like a velvet matte finish. It's actually a really pleasurable finish. It doesn't feel greasy, but it doesn't feel drying like a typical, like very matte sunscreen. As far as active ingredients, we have 3% avobenzone, 10% homosalate, 5% octosalate, and 7% octopriline. So very standard chemical sunscreen with your typical US approved filters. In this one, we have the Cellox Shield Tech, which is an antioxidant technology that combines photostable UVA and UVB filters to deliver broad spectrum protection and antioxidant protection. I read that directly off their website. This one is oil-free and it has silica, which is supposed to absorb the oils. So this is definitely recommended if you tend to get oily, if you have oily skin, or if you just kind of want that more matte look. Like I said before, it doesn't ever feel drying on my face. And this is one of those sunscreens that I just reach for over and over again. I will tell you that there is a little bit of a cast and you can kind of see, especially on the comparison of my face. This side is without anything. This side has something. It kind of has like, not necessarily like a very casty look like a uh, mineral sunscreen would give you with zinc oxide, but it has this kind of like almost layer to it. I don't mind that at all. And I wear this alone because I find that just letting it sit for about five minutes or so, it blends in and you don't see it. If you have a deeper skin tone, it might not work for you. So I'm not going to say that this is like white cast free. It's just one of those things. Like I don't mind it at all. I wear it underneath makeup a lot, but I also wear it on its own. So. That's kind of it. Um, and you can definitely see like a little bit more of the cast on your hairline or in your eyebrows, 
but I just, like I said, let it sit for a few minutes and then rub it out and it's fine. So that's what it looks like. All right, next up we have the daily lotion sunscreen. So I did three pumps. I would say maybe like a few more. So five pumps would be the full amount for your face and neck. So this one is the Anthelios UV Correct Daily Lotion Sunscreen. This one is pretty new to the US. This is SPF 70, which is incredible if you are looking for a really high protection sunscreen. This one is a few dollars more, so it retails at $34.99, which is $35, and you get the same amount, 1.7 fluid ounces or 50 milliliters. As far as active ingredients, we have 3% avobenzone, 13% homosalate, 5% octosalate, and 10% octocrylene. This one is a lotion. It has a thicker consistency, and I would say this one is for dry skin. It's very, very hydrating. This one also has a technology called the Celox B3 Shield. So the Celox B3 Shield is a broad spectrum UVA, UVB protection with antioxidants and niacinamide. Niacinamide is a form of vitamin B3, which is what is in this and what is kind of the technology behind it. So as far as the look of it this one has pretty much no white cast i wouldn't say like anybody's gonna have a cast um especially if you rub it in sometimes if i just don't rub it in it will have a little bit of a cast but this one goes on i would say a little bit easier than the first side you can tell the difference this is under studio lighting but i'm looking at my face in my mirror and in natural lighting as well this side is glowy <laughs> if you have dry skin this is for you like for me this is too much i just feel like my skin doesn't need that much moisture i prefer this side where you can definitely see like this is dry to the touch and like i said it has that very velvet matte feeling to it which is perfect under makeup this side if you do have dry skin it's perfect for you but for me it's a bit too much i would have to put a lot of powder on to kind of tame the shine down this one, they say it's not greasy, and I would kind of agree, but I do think that it kind of depends on your skin. So on me, where it doesn't really soak into my skin, it does feel greasy throughout the day, but it's not like those old sunscreens where it smells like sunscreen, it just feels like greasy and gloopy. It's not like that. It just is gonna depend on your skin type a bit more. Both of them are fragrance-free, which is great. I think they would both work on sensitive skin, and I've never had any eye sting from either one, which is, pretty great, especially considering that it's such a high protection and that they're chemical sunscreens, both of which can kind of do that to your eyes. So in my mind, they're just perfect for different types of skin. For me, I'm gonna always reach for the um, light fluid one just because this works better. Like you can kind of see how it works. This one is just too much. And I'm saying that in January, it's like 30 degrees out. It's still too much for me. But if you have very dry skin, it would be perfect. So I think that's it. These are both ones that I do really, really appreciate. I don't use this as much, so I'll probably pass it along, but this one is almost half empty and I've only had it for a few months. So that tells you a little bit about how much I love it. So if you did enjoy this video and you're still watching, I would consider giving it a big old like, subscribing, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.